What is going on everybody? So today we are on day seven. Since starting the business, we are still grinding, looking for our first deal. We're gonna be sending out as many emails as possible. Last Friday, I spent doing all the cold calling. So we got a bunch of emails. So I'm gonna send out all the emails today and do like a call block tomorrow. I got a couple people interested. We have like three or four hot leads and eventually we're just gonna be closing these businesses out. And every time I have a meeting or book a meeting with people, I'm gonna ask for referrals. Let's get after it, baby. I think in everyone's mind when you when you start a company or you quit something you get doubt in your mind and i told you guys i'm always gonna like be real as possible i'm seven days in and i question did i make the right decision am i doing this for the right reasons am i gonna be able to sustain this is this gonna work i get down but you know what at the end of the day i know what the other side holds and nine to five isn't for me i'll work longer i don't care about the hours i don't want to work for anybody else and it kills me because it's just so sucking work i just solely want to be a youtuber and i gotta make money to support the channel and i know this is the way of doing it if you want something in life and you gotta set goals and like one of my goals for the month was close my first deal i think that's attainable we're so close we got lots of work to do you know i just gotta look at myself and look at that man in the mirror and say you are good enough you're gonna make it just trust the process I still haven't told my parents yet. There's this guilt weighing on me that I haven't told my parents and I haven't been truthful to them because I'm just solely waiting on the fact that I'm going to get a couple like leads and I'm going to get a couple businesses. And once that kind of happens, then I'll be so happy to tell them today's not a video where you're going to see me doing a lot of cold calls or hustle like that stuff. It's, it's just to get you up and get that spirit up. And guys, I love you so much. So thank you so much for watching. Truly, truly love you. And I'm very happy that you guys are with me and I appreciate all of this so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on everybody? Today is day eight, let's get it. I know I've been wearing the same vest every single day, but I'm obsessed with it. Some people are scared of making cold calls. Some people are scared of following up. I, these are just people just like you and me. They put their pants on the exact same way, but look, they have a problem, you have the solution. So you're helping them out. So if you think of you're offering a service that's helping them out, it gives you a lot less anxiety about calling and dialing. Now, some people aren't gonna have budget. Some people don't want your services. And that's part of the game. Keep dialing, keep dialing and keep smiling and eventually you'll get a yes you'll be on a roll let's get it baby is uh blair in by chance this is uh Calmore calling from um uh clear out call so i just wanted to follow up with you i i sent you an email out last friday i could stop by tomorrow at one o'clock and then just take a look and give you a quote on bot sure perfect all right i will see you tomorrow at three honestly we usually just put a good idea on bad up and like get people to come pick it up and keep all the money that like how about this? I'll, I'll come in tomorrow. I'll take I'll, yeah. I'll take a look at it, and then we can decide what we will do from there. Okay. Yeah, that works. Perfect. All right. I'll see you tomorrow too. We're in business. Had hot leads. One said he didn't have a budget, so we could potentially be picking up all the stuff tomorrow. If it fits in the truck, I mean, we'll look at some scrap metal places where you can drop off and collect all the money from that. Another one. We have a meeting tomorrow, so we got a meeting two and three tomorrow. So let's get after it. Woo is uh, Mike in by chance? He is. Just tied up at the moment. Can you tell them that Kyle Moore called? The company's called Clear Out Co. The cardboard guys, right? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, I'm calling. Awesome, thanks. thanks so much. I'm gonna call the scrapyard right now and just kind of see what time they're open till. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging. They didn't pick up, but their store hours are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. I have a meeting with a guy getting us on Google Preferred. We still haven't got our first client yet. We're eight days in. I think by day 30, we'll have one or two, but you never know. We could have five, we could have zero. I got a call during my meeting. I had to stop the meeting and we got our first deal. Let's go, woo! It's a cardboard deal. I'll be picking up cardboard from a bike shop once a week, which is awesome. Pricing and all that stuff to be decided. We're eight days in and we already got a client. Boom, let's go, woo! Tomorrow, the game plan is I'm gonna wake up, run a call block, hit my meetings up. I have an opportunity for a new thing, picking up all the metal and taking it to a scrap yard so we can potentially make money for the business tomorrow. So we have client number two, potentially client number three on our third meeting, He's gonna show me all the junk. And then we're gonna see if I can fit it in my truck. If I can't, then we'll basically have to rent like a U-Haul. And that's something that we can facilitate. U-Hauls are about $60, $70 a day. As long as you're making 250 plus on all the recycling stuff, you're pretty good. Let's get after it. Business secured. 